the JJRCH29G. Got a power switch on the bottom. The controller has a rechargeable LiPo battery in the back of it. This could also be changed out for a larger battery if needed. Once you've got it connected, just put the back back on. And then turn the controller on. Now on this, make sure that you've got the quad turned on first. And the controller will automatically bind to the, to the quad and start the video processing. It's hard to see into the sunlight here, but there is the, uh, the screen there showing the FPV of it. The controller has a SD slot in it that will record the video footage seen there, and the camera on the quad also has a SD slot. Now, because I forgot to bring an extra SD card, everything that will be showing will be what was recorded from the controller itself. So, at times it will be a little blotchy. That's because of the FPV reception that's being recorded. Here we have it on low rate, and low rate is the best rate for the FPV flying. It doesn't give you too much of a pitch, and it allows you to be able to see what's in front of you. Now the only problem with flying in the low rate is with the slightest of gusts of wind will just push this thing around, and it makes it hard to control it. As you can see here though, it, flying in this area, it's got a, a perfect vi picture on the FPV screen. Now I'm going to bring it in for a landing, and I'm going to change the rate to the high speed. The leg did pop off because I lost the screw to hold it on during the assembly process. So that's not a normal problem. Now, just push up on the button here, the DDD, and then you are in highest rate pitch. You see here that is much faster and more nimble than it was before. But with that, you notice that the FPV screen is mainly just staring at the ground. The FPV flying for this thing will probably be best done on a day with no wind at all or indoors. Here we see the yaw rate, it's spinning quite dramatically. I'll do a couple funnels here. This thing is a really nice flyer. Bring it a little closer and do a bank turn. But once again, as I said, to make it fly this nimble and fast, you really lose the FPV advantages. Now I'm going to go full screen here and uh, take it up high and take a look around. You know, there's a little static here and there, and that's because this video is recorded on the controller and not the quad itself. And now we'll just bring it in for a quick spin down. And thank you for watching.